Jay Dernback, thanks for joining us at the end of today's play. Uh, enormously hard graft out there for the bowlers. Uh, 40 degree heat, what shape are the lads in? They're in good shape, especially the way we finished off that day. As you said, an exceptionally tough day with the heat and everything else. But, you know, we put ourselves in that position in the sense of we wanted to be on the front foot in this fixture. We won the task, decided to bowl. We thought that was the best opportunity for us to make some inroads into this into this fixture. And I think we certainly did with the way we finished there. Helmy running in, bowling as quick as he had done at the start of the day towards the end. And that's a testament to him and the rest of the bowling lineup, how fit and strong they are and, and ready to put in a shift. Absolutely. It's the question on everybody's lips, really, is the, the decision to win the toss and, and get out there and bowl, certainly in this heat. Um, was part of the thinking, yes, certainly there was a green top there, so it was going to do a little bit this morning. Part of the thinking as well is we've won games in this position as well, bowling first. Yeah, that's, all of those factors have certainly come into our decision making there, but it's a conversation that the management and the, and the captain have had and it's a decision we all were 100% behind in the sense of thinking that's our best play to get a victory here and force a victory. We're very much in this fixture. If we turn up tomorrow morning and get a few early wickets and get into the tail, bowl them out for somewhere around the 420 mark, we'll be certainly very happy with that. Knowing the quality that we got in that dressing room, it's come on, stack on some runs and then we say we're looking to force a victory here in the, in the last session of the fourth day. There's plenty more cricket to be played in this game. Absolutely. You mentioned Tom Helm there, two late wickets in the day have kind of given us a bit of a lift at the end. Obviously, Helm, we finished up with three. Um, overall, 328 for four. What's your assessment on the day? Slightly in their favour? Yeah, you would think so. You know, a couple of guys there played some some great innings. They've yeah. got, got hundreds. Pajar is still in. Could have had him last ball of the game, uh, last ball of the day, excuse me, and that could have changed the complexion of it for us. I think it's probably then just in, in their court they've probably edged today. But tomorrow morning is a whole other opportunity. The ball's still hard. Hopefully, we find a pitch that does a little something for us if there's some cloud cover. But equally, we know that these guys are going to come back and back up today's performance. Absolutely. In this kind of weather, Jade, that's is the kind of wicket I think that's just going to dry and flatten out. Um, we're obviously going to be looking to get in amongst them tomorrow and get get real kind of uh, momentum into into our bowlers, um, try and get through the Sussex innings. Obviously, getting ourselves out there to bat middle of the afternoon tomorrow, latest, I guess, is, is principally important. Yeah, of course. All, all this is a, it, there's a way to go about, it. and we know our four-day cricket, how we play our best four-day cricket, and that's putting pressure on the opposition however long that takes us it takes us as long as we can control the scoreboard and they're not getting too far ahead of the game we know that we've got an opportunity then to get in when it's our turn to bat and pile the runs on you mentioned our lineup obviously bolstered in this game with Esky coming back in from Lions duty Peter Milan now in the squad must be looking forward to seeing Peter out there in action after a bit of a wait getting him here yeah it was a little bit of a wait but I think um he's certainly keen to go we've we've seen a couple of training days with him he's been a breath of fresh air again you know a man with plenty of experience and his numbers speak for himself so I think he'll be licking his lips at the opportunity to, to put that middle sex shirt on and go out there and score some runs. I think you're right Jade thanks for joining us and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.